Hey, I'm Eric from NorthshoreCommercialDoor.com and I'm here today to help you program and install your LiftMaster 878 MAX wireless keyless entry. This model varies from the 877 by reducing the programming to four steps. So let's get started. To complete this project, you'll need a few simple items. A ladder, a tape measure, a drill, 1 8 inch drill bit, pen or pencil, and a Phillips head screwdriver. First things first, we'll need to locate and access your garage door opener's learn button. Most residential units, the learn button is located on the side or the back of your garage door opener. If you're having trouble finding your learn button, below in the description, we have a link to another video to help you find your learn button. The first method we're gonna cover is how to program a garage door opener with a yellow learn button. If you have another color learn button, such as purple, green, or reddish orange, we'll cover that here in a minute. To start, press and release the yellow learn button on your garage door opener until the LED stays illuminated. Next, you're gonna enter a four digit pin number of your choice. I'm gonna go with a simple one, two, three, four. I'm gonna press and hold enter until I see the light on my garage door opener flash or I hear two audible clicks. That's my garage door opener's way of telling me that it received the signal. So now let's test it. One, two, three, four, enter. There we go, and we did it. Now let's cover how to program our other color learn buttons such as purple, green, or reddish orange. So for this method, we're gonna start by holding the asterisk and pound sign down on our unit until the light remains illuminated and stops blinking. And now we're gonna enter our four digit pin, which I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, and we're gonna push the pound sign. Now, looking at the chart on your screen right now, press and release the enter button the amount of times that line up with your learn button's color. Yellow once, purple twice, reddish orange three times, and green four. After you've pressed enter the amount of times that correspond with your learn button, we're gonna go ahead and press zero. Then you're gonna to go to your garage door opener, press and hold your learn button until the LED remains illuminated. After you've pressed the learn button, go ahead and enter your pin number, and you're gonna press and hold enter until you hear two clicks from your garage door opener or you see the light blink once. This means the opener has received our signal. So now we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and test it. Enter, there we go. Now that we've programmed our wireless keyless entry, it's time to install it. First thing you're gonna do is find your desired location, which I'm gonna go with right here on this wall. Now it is recommended to have this at least five feet off the ground to keep out of reach of young children. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark five feet. Next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna take the battery cover off and set it aside because there's another mounting hole right here, so we need to access that here in a moment. Next, we're gonna mark the location for the top screw. As you'll see on the back of the unit, there's a little notch that the screw will go into, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that along where we want. Put a little mark there. So now we've placed our marks, we're gonna go ahead and take our drill and our 1 8 inch drill bit and drill us a pilot hole. Now we have our screw installed with about one eighth of an inch sticking out because we're gonna place this slot right here. It's gonna slide right on. Now that we have our unit hung, we're gonna go ahead and secure the bottom mounting hole. So we're gonna go ahead and lift the lid up, move this battery off to the side here. Go ahead and take my drill and drill my pilot hole. Now that we have our pilot hole drilled, we're gonna take our final screw we're gonna go ahead and put that in. We're gonna do it by hand because we don't wanna over tighten and crack the unit. The last thing we're gonna do is put the battery back in, replace the battery cover, and we're done. Thanks for watching and please hit subscribe for more informative content.